Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Well, we got the plywood for the roof here. You know, how do you like my uh, Rube Goldberg arrangements of tying it up so it doesn't blow out of the truck? We got two pieces of four by eight sheet here, and I had the other one underneath here cut to 40 inches, and the small cutoff piece is down under here. So, anyways, we're gonna unload this, and I'll meet you over by the shed. Hi there. Hi down there. How you doing? Well, we got to remove some of this junk here that's up here because we're gonna we're gonna slide the plywood up here so we can bring it over to this roof over here. So we got to get rid of this. These are blocks I had in place to hold tar paper down when I tarred so that uh, Sammy wouldn't get tar on his feet. So we don't need that stuff anymore. It out and now now we're gonna haul the plywood up here so we'll join you downstairs okay ladies and geraniums this is what we're gonna do to keep the plywood from sliding off the damn roof after I get it up there we're gonna put these temporary blocks in here to keep it from sliding off We're going to put three of these here, just so that when I put the plywood up here, it won't fall, slide right off and onto the ground, because it is a little breezy. We'll put two more up here, but we'll do that off camera. So I just wanted to show you what we're going to do, and the next time you'll see us put the plywood up there. Tommy's going to help me get the plywood on the roof. Alright, Tommy's going to help me with it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to shove this on the roof, but be careful we don't let it fall over. So what we're going to do, now get it started. Lift up like that. Now, let's see what you do. Go ahead. Push. Okay. All right. Now I'm going up on the roof and pull it up there. You can adjust the camera so you can see it. Go ahead. Do your video. what I can here so that I can draw a straight edge so I don't bang nails into air, open air space, so to speak. I have to have my weight on this to hold this down. Alright, so. We'll just reach over the edge because I can't see behind this thing. But I want to get a couple nails in here before we get too far along here. take the marking pen up there and we'll take our four foot straight edge we'll draw some lines and my ugly ass over here now before we go too far with this thing we're going to put a couple nails in it because we don't want to lose it we only got one in here right now 
have, have the plywood and my ugly ass all coming down at the same time on the ground and that would make a tremendous YouTube video, wouldn't it? flying off this roof so you may want to stay tuned to our local channels for our news and up-to-date news uh, blaster you know you know there's always that chance one old goat slides off shed roof okay. now that's going to be that's going to be a line there We'll go a straight edge on that. The pitch isn't all that much. It's a 10 degree pitch. I made it for two reasons. I don't like steep roofs and it's safer to work on. is a little less than a half inch thick. It's what they use for roofing and my truss, uh, trusses are 14 and a half inches apart because I separated them, evened them out, so they're a little better supported than 16 inch on center. Alright, what we're going to do now, we're nailed in here, so we take these babies out. Drop these down here. And mark on here. Try to do it from my ball with the wood in the way. It was hard to see where the nail actually go. Okay. Now what we're doing here, we want to line here. Because if you don't put the line on there, the nails will go right through. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna knock these two out. And we'll continue with nailing on the video. We'll come back on the video in a little while.
water line. I thought I told you an hour ago to bring a coffee up to me. What's the matter with you YouTubers out there? We get all the top, uh, the ridge nailed. And now we'll draw it a straight line and we'll finish nailing it. Ready? Well, I'm going to finish nailing this. I'm going to nail down this part here. There's uh, another 24 inches that i got to go down to the far end, but I want to try to get some pressure treated wood for the far end down when it blends into the roof. So when I finish nailing this, that'll be it for today, and I'll continue on this video. So I'm going to have to go out and get my own coffee because nobody brought me any coffee today. Well, folks, I uh, put tarpaulin over the top of the uh, the whole shebang here until I can uh, get the uh, roofing on it. This will protect it. And uh, before I put the plywood up, you probably notice I uh, I repainted the uh, the gussets. Uh, I happen to have some aluminum paint, so it'll be a little more uh, you know reflect light better than all black up there. Now, what I did, I don't know if you can see that underneath there, but uh, the plywood only comes down to full width of 48 inches, and there's still 24 inches more to cover up on those uh, trusses that are blended into the uh, other roof. So naturally, water's still going to come through here, of course, because it isn't sealed, the valley isn't done or anything. And you can see when you mark the plywood, with the straight edge like I did uh, you don't see any nails coming through if you tried to guess at it well I would hit 50 percent of the time my nails would be on the uh, outside of the uh, of the wood and as you can see nothing came through <laughs> shouldn't anyways um, at this point in time that's it for this video um, I have to get some pressure treated wood for the far end, but I'm forced to buy a, buy a full sheet and I only need an 8 foot by 24 inch wide piece. In other words, a 2 foot by 8 foot piece to cover the end. And it's uh, 27 bucks for that thickness. Oh, so, this thing is getting to be expensive here. And I still have to get the rolled roofing. But anyways, that's it for now and we'll be coming on this project soon. So we're going to just call this, well, it won't be part one or part two. We'll just say this project will be continued. As they say in the old time movies, to be continued. That's what you used to have in serials years ago in the movies. These western serials, well, you can call it a serial, so to speak, I guess. To be continued. Do not go away.